patch right now, but hey, should be a good game. Yeah, and just to clarify this now, guys, we're going to call SK or ESG by whatever they have written there. That's what we've been instructed to do, and it's it's honestly, honestly, players should have their real names because when... I don't think a lot of people realize that when you cast, you can't help, even if you know who the player is. Yeah. You're doing so much at once that you, it's just a lot easier just to take a stare to the top right hand corner of your screen and just read the name that pops up. So guys, we're gonna be we're gonna be going off those names. But uh, bonjour, uh, this is of course the, the knife round. We have uh, le Titan, uh, Titan of course with MBK Carambit uh, is very good so far. They are currently at the Hub Gaming House in uh, Belgium. Oh, no, Smith, Smith, one kill. Oh, MBK, double, double kill, two, Kniff, kill, MBK. Oh, sacré bleu, sacré bleu, Titan, Titan, uh, magnificent Titan horse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Not yeah. as good as the Russian. But no, hey, it's getting there. It's getting, it's getting there. there. Give it a few more. A few more Titan <laughs> games and you'll be there. Uh, I'll just stick to good old North London. <laughs> yeah. So, Titan, I assume, are going to stick on that CT side, as we are on Mirage. So, slightly CT sided. We saw the Mouse game earlier against Overgaming. That was a pretty close game. Overgaming gave Mouse a little bit of run for their money. Mm. But in the end, Mouse Sports overcame them pretty easily. And we're now seeing the French versus the Swedish in Titan versus ESG. MBK going for the duelies there. Not often you see those. Smoke's going over ESG set up nicely. Two smokes and the flash going over towards this B site. The incendiary will tag them up a little as they go through. Kenny S gets one as the Swedes enter the site. Kenny S with another. And it's now three members left. Michael getting the frag onto SK. Emilio and Makla left. And there are two members of Titan by bench. Sweet is running and hiding in apps. He'll get one, but won't be able to pick up as MBK drops in with the double guns. Taking it to 1 0 Titan, and you kind of expected them to win the pistol on the CT. Yeah, good stuff from Titan. Uh, 1 0 in their favour. MBK has gone for the Swag 7. In existence with the FAMAS. In fact, Screen's gone for the FAMAS as well. And uh, pretty much only Kenny S who's gone for the M4. It's interesting to see Kenny S go for the more expensive weapon when you consider the fact that he wants to save up for the AWP. Smiths, however is still on a USP so this is a very interesting decision from Titan if you just joined us ESG of course are the old SK lineup and let's see how they fare out existence pushed all the way down mid spotted someone underground hello Makaleli's made his way out of that knows where Scream is with a P250 will take him how good kill from Makaleli but existence comes in to take out the danger and where are the rest of ESG gonna go now they have two CZs and we know how good the CZ is they've pretty much all gone towards a B bomb site all four of them so I don't know whether Smiths will hear anything on short you know what I think he has done but hello look who it is it's the natural born killer in MBK and can he get any kills with that swag 7 gets one Skeeton drops uh, MBK and I think he'll pick up his swag 7 but they need to pick up the bomb first it's well it was one versus three and uh, existence you know what he doesn't get the spotlight very often but he got a hat trick there so fair play to him yeah, Smith's as well. That USP did some work for him there, and he's now most likely going to pick up an AWP and switch with Kenny S. He's got the AWP, he loses the AWP, he gives it to Kenny S. Kenny S going to be showing us why he is one of the top snipers on this game, alongside people. Yeah, on the top of that game. So he's most likely going to be sitting in window, I assume, here. Uh, yep, he's hanging around that area, he gets smoked out for now, so he's going to be rotating towards jungle. As the T's still on an eco, you have to note here. Push towards mid, in towards connector. Flash Kenny S. He's going to miss that first shot. The ESG do have the man advantage. And I spoke too soon as existence comes out. Makes it four versus four. Emilio pushes round. Kenny S gets him, but Skeeton drops existence. It's a three versus three. Smith isn't looking too good for health. Kenny S misses yet another shot and gets dropped by Makalela. That is huge as he picks the orb. And Scream drops him. It's all down to Roque now with the dual Berettas in hand. Up round here. Got Scream, but Scream with the FAMAS does better at range than Julie's. I would have thought that Makalele dropping Kenny S there 
would have been bigger, but the fact that he kept pushing with it was a little bit risky and he got punished for it. Titan now at 3-0 and it's the first proper gun round of the game. Yeah, I swear down someone once gave me a, uh, a lecture in Swedish that Skitten is apparently pronounced as Skitten. And then we started taking the piss and calling him Sky Kitten. But if people don't seem to like Skitten, Skitten or whatever I was saying, I'll just say Skitten. Skitten. Everyone's happy with that. And if that ends up being the wrong way to say it as well, then he's got to change his name because unfortunately I don't know Swedish. But anyways, Titan 3-0 up. They'll be more uh, than aware of the fact that ESG will uh, be on their third round by which they've been eagerly waiting. It's going to be Delpan to get the first frag onto Scream. Scream the headshot machine, but not anymore. He's been ridiculed out of this round. They see existence falling back towards the A bomb site, and the Frenchies are one man down. But bonjour, bonjour, hello, hello, look who it is. It's Smiths who's pushing mid from behind, and Smiths could cause a heck of a load of havoc here. Oh, he's gonna get Delpan, he's gonna get the second as well. That's brilliant from Smiths. And it's little moments of magic like that which win you rounds, which win you games, which win you rounds that lead to other eco rounds. And Smiths, he's been good so far. And let's see whether he's going to build on it. 3-0 in favour of Titan. Kenny S, the AWP monster, gets his first frag of the round. It's going to be Roque to get the return frag. But uh, MDK is just going to walk in and say, we'll see very much. And 4-0 to Titan, and Titan look good. Yeah, they are looking really strong right now. The way that Kenny S will just pick up a frag with that AWP and then just jump so seamlessly away from everything into cover and then just pop his head back out like it's nothing. It's so good to watch. And ESG now forced onto an eco. Got three deagles in their arsenal, so we might see the odd one D come out. And Rocket is going to miss that first one. So uh, he's now under cover. But Kenias is not going to miss Emilio. And existence pushes up and gets Rocket. So three members left. One of them heavy tagged. Existence gets that one. Skitten drops MBK. But Kenias's AWP is doing work. He's already got two kills. And it's all down to Delpsy now. And Smiths is having none of it. 5 0 to Titan. It was an eco. Hopefully, ESG can come back stronger this round. Alright, Hoss. What's your prediction? Prediction? I, I, I should ask you it at the start of the game, but I always remember like yeah. five rounds in. Um, <laughs> after 5 0 up, um, <laughs> gotta go a comfortable 16 5 or something like that. I mean, it's hard not to when you've got Titan in front of you just smashing CT Mirage. Uh, I don't know if you'll agree with me on that one. No, I do. I can't see Titan. Oh, throwing this one away. <laughs> Kenny S through the smoke. And someone in chat saying to call Skitten Heaton. I like that Heaton. idea because we have Heaton and Delpan. And dear me, I like this very much. The XSK lineup in Heaton and Delpan. In fact, talking about Heaton, it's going to be Heaton to drop MBK. Heaton with the double, leaving it at three versus three. And let's see whether the headshot machine can get a few more. Yes, he can. Scream by himself, tearing open this B bomb site before going down to. The last time I checked was a French uh, footballer in Cloud Makaleli, but existence. The Titan leader now. He's up against Makaleli with 50 seconds and counting. Who's going to win the battle of wits? Existence is heavy tag. So is Makaleli. Oh, yeah. And well, existence, a lot of people say he's not good enough. And he's just proved them wrong. 6 0 in favour of Titan. And uh, they look good so far. Yeah. Something to know. Titan have recently signed a coach as well, haven't they? If they I'm have. not mistaken. So maybe if this is like. I know a little bit of a practice run for their new coach just to see the work that they've, that they've been doing with the team and how they perform. Of course, I assume that he is in the house with the team, so going to be right next to them alongside their manager, watching their game, maybe even on comms with them as well, all in strats. But here we see going to be Makalele who's toying with the orb. It'll be Emilio who picks up the orper of Titan in Kenny S, but MBK will drop Delpsy as it's now 4 on four. The bombs made its way towards apps but instead it's having a change of mind and moving towards top of mid after they got the frag on Kenny S so they know that there's room here to move especially because of the two smokes that are out in, in position right now. MBK can hear them coming round. Makalela's AWP was scoped in on him but the AWP is going to go down it's one for one yet again as Smiths is now coming up behind them. He can hear them on short. Three versus three. 
I don't even. I'm gonna, don't even know how to say it now. I'm just gonna say Skyton <laughs> and Emilio. It's now just all down to existence, and he is here in kitchen. He throws out the fire. It's not gonna do anything just yet. It will just mean that Roque's movement will be impeded. Fire goes. Roque comes around the corner, and yeah, six one. ESG picking up their first round, but Titan can all still comfortably buy except for Smiths, but Kenny S will be able to drop him something, I believe. Yeah, and again, just so people know, we were instructed to call the players by whatever name they use in game. Admins had a word with them, told them to use their normal names. Um, we know who these players are, but we, we, do, we do. there's so much multitasking in doing this that sometimes you accidentally end up reading the player on your screen, and it's going to be Delpan to drop existence. Delpan, there you go, I said it. Scream now making his way towards Window Room where Makaleli is waiting for him on the ground. Makaleli's going to spot Scream, he's going to nail him in the head, and maybe it's going to be two rounds in a row for ESG. Only time will tell. Delpan, he's waiting for MBK to make his move. Delpan gets his second and at five versus one, Kenny S is going to have to genuinely reinvent the wheel if he uh, wants to stand a chance of winning this and he's on very low HP now. He's going to try and do everything he can to save that beautiful all passing mob of his and he's going to go down 6-2 and is the comeback real? Probably a bit early to... Uh, to make that call just yet, but it is a yeah. CT-sided map, and the score is less of a whitewash as it stands, and hey, if ESG make it three, then it's game on. Yeah, it's an eco here from Titan, so it will most likely be a 6-3 here, but hey, who knows? I mean, we've seen some strange eco rounds today, most notably in the Reason Mouse game, but Makalele's opening things up onto existence in window with the headshot. MBK is pushed up into Palace here, but he's not going to find anything with his CZ. So he knows that's clear. They know that the A site's clear, otherwise MBK might have heard something. So Titan know that it's going to be a B right here. And it's going to be Skyton who will be dropped, but Emilio and Roque picking things up, and Makalele coming in on mid, and he's going to be waiting for the rotation of MBK. Finish it off with a headshot. Almost got dropped by the CZ, but stood his ground. ESG lost one member, and it was a pretty strong anti-eco from them. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby. Now Titan, they've uh, finally bought up. Smiths actually is a bit low on cash because remember when we saw Smiths um, on the USP? That's because I think he was saving money because Kenny S got an AWP the round after. So if Kenny yeah. S had an M4, it must have been Smiths who bought the AWP for Kenny. So I'm, su I'm surprised he didn't actually come up with that pri previously. Uh, theory me. But hey, Titan are masterminds of this game and... Uh, for some reason, there's certain uh, third-person models which aren't holding guns in their weapons. Like, are you getting that as well? Where players uh, have have uh, like have the shape of holding a weapon? There's no actual weapon there. Anyways, I don't know. Delpen, the Orpa for ESG, is gonna get that first frag. Kenny S doesn't have an orb, but he has an M4 in hand this time round. He's gonna eat a bit of a nade. He has Emilio literally centimeters away from him. And let's see whether ESG can capitalise on this uh, minute one-man lead which they have. Emilio is all eyes on a potential rotator coming from Whorehouse. Kenny S is playing in window room. He hears him coming through connector. Kenny S, he's good with an AWP and he's good with an M4 as well. Before going down to Emilio's Kalashnikov, leaving Heaton on uh, existence. Heaton gets the kill. Let me know if that's the right way you say it. Heaton, like jalapenos. And MBK now, last man standing. He's in the uh, window room, he's gonna get one, and now he's jumped down to Connector, and Emilio will have called that. Delpan has his crosshair on the right area, MBK is gonna get the wall bang, and maybe, just maybe, the uh, comeback, or the clutch rather, is on the cards for the natural born killer. He's on 21 HP, he's running away, Roque spots him, and Roque is gonna get the kill. No, he's not surprisingly, it's gonna be Heaton to come around the back and get the kill. Or, no, not even Heaton is gonna get the kill, or Skitten is gonna get the kill. Let me know how my Swedish was there. MBK is gonna run away, and I think he's gonna save the AK, and ESG, when you consider they were 6-0 down, they haven't done, uh, they haven't done too badly at all. No. See, before we went online, I saw the name Skyton, and I, I said to myself, I know that's not pronounced as it looks, and for some reason, my brain said something like Whitten, but apparently now that's miles off, and the only Swedish I know is Svetiger. Uh, that's the UK scene coming back to haunt me. Now 6-4, and again, Titan kind of going for that mix buy. Because uh, Smiths was able to save the AK from the last round, he's kind of told his teammates, we should probably buy something and even up our money. 
So MBK's gone for that Swag 7, Kenny has gone for the FAMAS, and his other two remaining members gone for the P250. They're all even out on money, whether they'll be able to get the round from it, we will see. Going to be wait now to see where ESG go. There's no aggression coming out of Titan. MBK is waiting at the end of apps with the shotgun. Of course, if he starts to get kills with that, he'll be rolling in money for the next round. $900 a kill it is. So that's going to be a lot of money in his pocket. Here we see Skitten go, but he sees MBK jumping, tags him down to 52. The nade won't connect as MBK ran away. Delpsy, he spots a Titan member but isn't able to connect. Kenny S trading with Makalele, but Kenny S will be the man to get dropped. Obviously prefers the AWP over a FAMAS, and the FAMAS just wasn't doing it for him there. Now Delpsy in the top mid, Emilio dropping MBK. Delpsy with some great AWPs onto Smiths. It's now existence and scream left. All five members of ESG still alive. And it looks like Scream may just opt to save this FAMAS and Existence may look to find a corpse of his teammate to take the gun from. As the bomb ticks down, it's uh, going to be ESG who start to make a comeback. They were 5-0 down. This is going to be 6-5. And going into the latter parts of this first half, they may start to put Titan to shame, it has to be said. Yeah, maybe, just maybe, even pull off an upset. I mean, you thought Titan would win, didn't you? Yeah, I thought they'd win pretty comfortably. I said something like 16-6, I think. Mm. Akalele gets an exit frag there onto Existence, so he wasn't even able to save that P250. So here we go. Titan now, finally. It's men versus men. Well, almost men versus men. Kenny S, he can't afford an M4. Well, in fact, he can, but he's opted to go for the FAMAS to leave himself with $1,800. You can just tell how eager and how hungry he is to, to get the AWP just in his gloves. But until then, it's going to be Delpan who's going to be the uh, master orper on Mirage at the moment. We've got Emilio and Roque both pushing down mid with Skitten towards B and Makaleli and Delpan trying to get frags on the A bomb site. They're, 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 they're leaving it democratic, shall we say, at the moment. They're splitting and picking. They're not really dedicated to one bomb site at all but it's not the first time we see Smiths do that just ninja behind the Swedes and get them from behind scream getting on the score sheet as well and now the Swedes the Swedes well they're in trouble Smiths again where was the communication ESG should have known that Smiths was lurking underground and now Smiths has gotten two two cheap kills from absolutely nothing and maybe just maybe we might see Titan seventh round on the board. Emilio is going to push a ramp. He's going to spot existence. He's going to take him out. And now at three versus two with Scream on very low HP. This is doable for the Swedes. Delpan doesn't oh. miss from there. Drops the headshot machine. No headshot machine on the map anymore. We've got an Orpa versus Smiths and MBK and Emilio who exists no more. Can Delpan get the clutch? He can't. The natural born killer says merci very much. I'll uh, <laughs> deal with the retake all by myself. Didn't even need Smith's help. And uh, I'm sure Titan will be happy to to get rid of that, what was it, five round consecutive yeah. loss thing they had going on. They'll be happy. It'll restore a bit of confidence. And uh, you never know. Maybe they'll win a few more rounds. But ESG, they're not going to be ecoing anytime soon. Roque had $16,000 at the start of that round. So he was sitting on max money there. And then after his buy, he still ate, he even buys a CZ because he's rolling in so much money off that. So he has an AK and then if he uh, runs out of firepower from that, he'll just switch to his mini rifle in his pocket in the form of the CZ-75. Makalele's pushed underpass here, maybe looking to get a pick from any aggressive French players through connector. Flash goes out from MBK. Green pushing T-steps aggressively here. Not going to find anything just yet. MBK's trying to wallbang a uh, ESG member, but nothing's connecting. Kenny S with a great AWP shot there onto Roque. And here we see Smith waiting patiently. Emilio comes into his crosshair. Three members left for ESG against the full five-man force of Titan. Make it two men left, and Makalele does drop Scream. He'll drop Smith's as well. Great uh, fire there. 
Now Kenny S has an idea where he is. He sees the grenade come in. It's down to low HP there, Kenny S. Down to 13. Makalele just needs to touch him through. And Makalele is quick and coming onto this site. They get Kenny S as well. And this round has just gone upside down for Titan. They were 5 versus 2 here, I believe it was. And now Makalele, certainly the MVP of this round. Witten as well on this site to defend. Gonna stop anyone coming through CT. Almost falling to that fire there. 4 and 6 HP combined. MBK has 10 times that. Gonna go for the defuse here. The bomb is ticking down. He's checking all angles. Pre-fires. And Makalele pokes his head out of Palace. MBK had no idea. A great comeback there for ESG. Yeah, and four man from Makaleli as well. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Seven six, and like you said, ESG, the comeback is real. It's meant to be a CT sided map, so Titan, the best they can do now is nine six. But you know what, Hoss? It's going to take one heck of a CZ round from them to do it because they are ecoing and they do find themselves on the back of an eco. We've got four CZs. Existence has opted for the P two fifty. Let's see what Titan can do with it, and let's see how ESG... ESG will be more than aware of the fact that Titan will be ecoing now, so let's see what their anti-eco strategy is going to be. Now, great screen went far too aggressive there for my liking, with only CZ. Makaleli puts him to sleep. Hello, it's Existence who manages to get one kill, but I don't think one kill is going to be enough. We see MBK starting to rotate now, and are the T's going to actually dedicate towards the A bomb site? They have AKs on paper. They should win this one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's going to be Emilio to drop Kenny S. Skitter as well getting on the score sheet leaving Smith's last man standing on top of the A-bomb site the question is whether they'll realize he's hidden there let's have a look he's using the smoke to his advantage and they have no idea where he is oh no he can't take out oh. Deplan oh Deplan Delpan gets him eventually but um it's good from ESG it's really good they've really impressed me when they went 6-0 down I thought oh no it's one of those days where Titan just show up but I don't think it's Titan not showing up anymore. I think it's ESG playing really well, especially at Delpin's Orphan has actually um, impressed me a lot. And Makaleli, wow. Yeah, Makaleli has been playing really well so far. In fact, he's got a whole eight more kills than the next person on his team. And there you go, Delpsy with the AWP. You're saying how good it's been. And they're even toying with a double AWP setup here on T-Side Mirage. Now, that is something you don't see every day. Mm. Skitten with the other AWP in hand. Emilio doesn't need one. He has the AK to get headshots with. The MBK puts one of their AWPers down and it's all down to Skitten now if they want to use that big rifle in hand. Smith's trading with Emilio but Emilio is going to come out on top there with 34 HP left and it's all down to Scream and MBK now to defend these two sides. Roque comes out of Palace. One headshot on to Scream is all it takes for him to lose his life and it's just MBK left and Roque doesn't need more than a headshot and 8-7 there that was a really surprising half from ESG going 6-0 down come back 8-7 on CT sided Mirage that's impressive yeah, it is, and it's going to take one heck of a T side from Titan. But if there's anything we've seen from Titan in the past, is we know what they're capable of. Scream the headshot machine, seven kills, twelve deaths. Not the best half of his life, but Hoss, once he gets the, the AK-47 in his hands, which is, of course, a one-shot to the head, then dead, even when the opposition player has a helmet, then maybe he might be able to wreak a bit of havoc. But it's, it's, it's not easy to play T-side Mirage. But Titan, tons of experience. And like you said, they've got a new coach now. I don't know whether the coach has joined them just yet, whether he's contributed to anything to do with how they play Mirage. But I don't know about you, but I don't think, I don't think they'll be too happy with how this uh, half has finished so far. But, you know, fingers crossed if you're a Titan fan. And I guess fingers crossed if you're a... If you're a what are they called again? ES, ESG yes, fan as well. Yeah, and uh, if you're an ESG fan, you're going to be loving Makalele right now. I mean, Brilliant. he's on, he's, he's got like 1.5 times the kills of MBK. He's sitting on 18 frags with only 9 deaths on T-Side Mirage. That is just outstanding. Interesting boost there coming up from Roque. That is certainly a strange position, but if it pays off, hey-ho, but Right now it's not going to because he has, uh, Titan rather are sat on this A site. The flash goes out, the smoke goes out, and they're pushing. Delpsy throws out grenade. He gets one with a headshot. McAlele gets another. Smiths 
Toying with CT here. He's looking down. The LP drops Smith. It's all down to Kenny S. But hey, all of those T's dropped so quickly. And now Delpc finds the bomb, starts the defuse. And it's really, really strong start there from ESG. Coming out of the blocks on CT. Strong. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby in Titan. They'll know that that's exactly what they didn't want to happen. Now ESG, they'll have the weapons. You'd expect them from this point onwards to go on and win the next two rounds because, hey, they won the pistol round. And uh, they can afford it, so why not? we got Emilio, Roque and Skitten all with pharmacies. Makaleli's opted to go for the M4 and Delpan has uh, decided to go for the all-powerful P90, or the Pro-90 as we like to call it. Whilst Titan, well, Kenny S and MBK with CZs, and Existence, Smith and Scream opting to go for only Glock. So on paper, if Titan get the plant, they'll be happy with this. And here we go, Dranimo, this train of terrorists is going to proceed towards this uh, larger A bomb site. Delpan is going to go down. Kenny S wasting no time whatsoever trying to get the plant. Emilio can't stop him. He's going to pull the USP out. He drops Scream, leaving it at four versus three. Makaleli is going to try and come in and save the day. It's Existence and Kenny S now. Kenny S has been sent all the way back to T-Spawn. And so has his leader in Existence. So, 10-7. I can't really say I'm surprised with that Hoss, and a no. good retake from ESG. Yeah, it was almost a replay of the round before where Titan got onto the site nice and easily, got the plant down, and then ESG just came in and went absolutely ham and just retook the site. They only lost one member there, I think. But because of the two bomb plants, Titan can now buy on the third round of the half. All AKs in hand. Three members of ESG having set off Famuses here, just so they have, s just so that Delps, uh, yeah, so Makalele, if they win this round, will most likely drop an AWP next round. Then gonna nade underpass them, that's gonna do quite a bit onto existence. Down to 70 out HP now, they spot Skritten on mid, but existence will come out losing that trade as Rocky jumps up into apartments here. He knows Smith was there because he heard some gunfire. Smith is just going to back out of that one for now. Doesn't really fancy that trade at the moment. He makes his way into Palace. Not seeing anything stairs or jungle. Scream. He turns his back at the wrong time and Delps, he punishes him for it. Elsewhere, Kenny S drops to Skitten. And they know exactly where MBK is now. As Delpsy spots him. BK, AK in hand, Delpsy is down to 15 HP, just hit him once and he is going to be down. Now Makalele is rotated around into jungle and going to be pinning MBK to where he is. And there he is. He was either pinned or going to die and he chose the option to die. All down to Smith's here, he is still on full HP. And full HP is still not going to be enough to trade with Makalele. And it's now 11-7 and... ESG forced Titan onto yet another eco. Yeah, and bear in mind, guys, Titan were six nil up, six zero up in their favour at one point during this game. And like Hoss just said, Titan, they're going to be in this uh, until they lose like five rounds. I think it is. They're going to be in this constant eco. Buy weapons. See what you can do with them. You lose again. You have to eco. And that's why they need to win rounds. They need to get money flowing. They need to be able to fight the amount of money that ESG are currently currently accumulating. Makaleli by himself with over $7,000. So here we go. It looks like they are going to dedicate towards a B-bomb site. Roque. Oh, Roque. Oh, oh, wow. one. Burns wow. two. Takes down the fourth. This is brilliant from Roque. And well, Titan were on an eco. But the placement of the Molotov. A lot of people... Ignore the Molotovs in CSGO, but Roque showed us there that the Molotovs do have a use. And when used at the right place, at the right time, that they can be deadly. Especially on those eco rounds where you know your opponents won't have armor. Yeah, MBK just summed that up perfectly in chat. All he typed was, well, and then just didn't type anything apart from a sad face. It was the combination of the HE that went in there as well. Because hmm. the... Fire would have been ticking away at them as they tried to run through. Then the HE would have gone through and they didn't have any armor. So that would have been doing about at least 20 to 30. With the fire ticking down each second and then the FAMAS just reigns supreme. MBK's gonna oh. not open things up. As Emilio will drop him as he saw his legs. 
ESG looking in control of this round once again. Nikolele is looking underpass. Kenny S and Existence are going to be popping up soon. Kenny S does have the orb, but Existence is going to be the one to get the headshot onto Makalele. Kenny S missing the orb shot. You don't hear that said too much. That's going to be the A site. The old away from them. Or is it? They're still toying with the idea. They've left the bomb in mid still. Two members are towards this B site. One's in short, the other's still toying with the idea of connector. Instead, it's Smith who's going to get dropped. Scream's going to come in as well, but Scream's going to range supreme over Roque now. Kenny has getting tech down with the AWP. Skitten now, he's got a man to his left, man to his right. He gets the headshot onto Kenny S. And he's not going to be able to drop Scream just yet. Scream drops down and we'll get the headshot. It's two versus two now. And we might see Titan win around here. They've got eight seconds to get the plant down. He's going to start planting. And the bomb does go down. Two seconds left until that round would have been over. And in ESG's favor, now they need to retake this site. Scream is behind bench. Distance behind Van. Delpsy comes in. Existence drops Emilio. It's all on Delpsy now. He gets one. He's 1v1 versus Existence. 20 health separates the two of them. Existence on the higher. Which is to his pistol. Existence jumping around. Delpsy comes round. That was unlucky for him. He only was able to take about 30 HP off of the Titan player. The Titan get an important round there for them. Yeah, you're right. Important round. They need to build on this now because, hey, their economical situation still ain't great. And that's emphasized by the fact that Smiths has gone for the Galil rather than the AK-47. And I have a saying, whenever you see the pharmacies and Galils coming out, you know that the team using them is in financial trouble. And if Titan lose this one, then you know we're going straight back to the drawing board, Hoss. And going back to the eco board. And that'll most likely mean another round. Lost. Take a look at the scoreboard. Oh wait, let's leave the scoreboard for now. Kenny S getting a kill with an AK. We don't say that very often, but I guess when he can't, when he can't buy an up, he can still deliver the goods with a regular rifle. So not too shabby from him. It looks like they are going to head towards the B bomb site. Bomb is going there as well. They've smoked out connector. Kenny S is going to jump straight into Rocky. Kenny S with his double of the round so far. Makaleli looking to shut the rest of the Titan down. Titan fall. No, Titan fall. Delpen drops existence. I really didn't want that. To s I, for a second then, I just thought, I said Titan fall. And I was like, I've got a second Titan fall the game. But anyways, three versus two. MBK making his way towards mid. Hears and spots Delpan. It's AK versus Orp at mid. Delpan misses. Delpan tries again. It's MBK to get the frag. Leaving it at two versus two. And you know what, Hoss? Titan, just maybe, just maybe, if they can pick up the bomb, which in fact they do have, can win this round. But oh, look who it is. It's Emilio. Uh, he drops Smiths. Maybe a bit of miscommunication there from Titan. He left himself a bit. A bit uncovered, and now they can hear MBK making his way to Connector. He's making a lot of noise because he does. He's in a rush, ladies and gents. He needs to get the bomb down. Has no idea where he's being shot from, and Machiavelli just in the nick of time gets the frag. And ESG only three rounds away from winning now. Yep, three rounds. It seems like such a small amount. And after this one, it's most likely going to be two because Titan are forced onto yet another eco. Scream opting for that CZ along with MBK here. I know it's Kenny S who's got Scream CZ now. Kenny S is going to be hoping that he has enough money next round to get an AWP and do some work. That nade was great there onto Smiths. Almost hit him straight in the head. He's down to 28 HP from that. Titan now trying to see if they can work just anywhere on the map right now. Seeing if they can get a pick somewhere and get into a site. Right now they're, t they're in underpass, they're coming up into mid, going to boost up by the looks of things into window. Yes, is going to jump up and Skitten on short gets one. He will not get Scream, he'll have to back away from that. Scream comes back round though, chasing on for that frag and he gets an M4 for his troubles. Existence gets dropped by the AWP of Delpsy, MBK tries entering the A site, gets dropped by Emilio. Scream getting dropped and also, and it's all down to Smith who's still tagged up from that nade earlier. He was over by B earlier, he's still in B. Headshot from Roque, not that it mattered because he was so low. And two rounds are all it takes now for ESG to win this first ma uh, uh, to win this first game for them. Yeah. 
I like the guy who said Makaleli decided to retire from football. All back to his uh, CS playing career. That made me chuckle. But anyways, here we go. Titan have bought up Scream. Is he on an eco? Scream is actually only on a P250. So he's playing this really defensive. He's just waiting to see maybe if a teammate dies, he'll go and pick up their weapon. That emphasizes how bad the Titan economical situation is now. But they want to win this game. They know if they lose this round, ESG will be on match point. And... I'm not sure if there's overtimes in Star Series. I don't think anyone else knows because we keep asking this uh, question and no one. No, there's not. Draws can happen. Draws can happen. Draws can happen. I was can reading. happen. Okay, yes. cool. So uh, Titans still have uh, well, they still have the win to play for. Maybe if they lose this round, they'll still have the draw to play for. But they've spent a lot of money this round and they might be forced into another eco, which would be good night Vienna for them. But here we go. Up for Delpan. Four M4s. Four silenced M4s, in fact, for the Swedes. As Titan make their way towards Whorehouse. They've spotted, they've spotted Skitten. He was hiding in window room. Look who it is. It's the natural born killer in apps trying to get the frag. He's trying to just... J j just See if he can get an opening on the A bomb side, but so far hasn't been able to. But wow, Ooh. Kenny S from out of the blue manages to nail Delpan in the head. It's going to be Skitten to get the return frag, leaving it at four versus four. And where are Titan going? It looks like they're heading towards A, but hello, Makaleli out of the blue manages to nail Kenny S in the head. It's Makaleli with the double existence is going to try and shut down someone, but unfortunately, it's just not Titan's day, Hoss. Yeah, they aren't performing at the top of their game right now. And it certainly shows, I mean, if this game was on CSGO Lounge, you'd probably have about 70% in favour of Titan. And if you were to ask Twitch chat before this game, they would have probably said the same as well. But ESG have come out and surprised everyone with this performance. Seven round deficit right here, and Scream opens things up after Existence gets dropped to about half health. But Skitten here, he's on short, Those, or has a rough idea where some of the Titan players are. Kenny S is in smoke, he'll get dropped 77 health from the M4 MBK is gonna go under pass here and maybe pop up and surprise one of the Swedes Myths only on a CZ, Scream is the only man with an AK minute left in this round French play the, the French team uh, mid, probably looking at a mid to B right here Considering on where Smith's is, existence as well. Seeing if anyone rotates through T spawn. Scream hit five versus three right here, and his AK is coming in really handy. Yes, has an M4 in hand now as well. They try and for this B site. K chucks a flash out on A as just a decoy. Rock A drops Smith on the B site, but Scream comes in and drops him. Eaton drops as well. It's all down to Emilio. He's one versus four. He has to rotate from this A site, but MBK might just get the one dig onto him. Or Kenny S is going to go hunting. They know exactly where he is. MBK would have heard him. And there we go. MBK with the deagle onto Emilio. And Titan can only hope for a draw right here. Correct me if I'm incorrect, but I don't think Auto Director picked up one kill that round. Did it? Uh, did, did it pick up a kill for you? Because it definitely didn't pick up any kills for me. Scream, before I knew it, Scream had a four man and I was busy watching MBK throwing a flash into the A bomb site. <laughs> oh, but, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Did it capture yeah. for you? I'll take that as a no. Anyways, here we go. Titan wasting no time. They want to fight back. It's going to be Kenny S to get first blood before Makaleli gets the second frag. It's Emilio getting on the score sheet as well before Scream continues his form from the previous round by headshot headshotting Emilio. But now it's one versus three. It's Scream, the headshot machine, who is now no more. And ladies and gents, ladies and gents, Titan fall. And ESG, who would have thought it, Hoss? They were 6-0 yeah. down. And they've won the game.